I guess I need to rummage about. Odessa appears to be awake. Hello, lady type. How you doing? Dodd, can't you sleep? Me neither, but the night breeze makes me feel better. Can I tell you something? Uh, I guess. What's up? Kessler of Mount Tigerwolf, Flick, Humphrey, Sanchez. They all expect so much of me, but sometimes I feel like running away. I'm not sure I'm worthy of their hopes. What do you plan to do? Will you return to the Empire? I'm not planning on it, no. I, of course, or I don't understand. Neither of those are no, I'm not doing that. Okay, sure. Use your head. You have the ability to judge right from wrong. Your father is a great general of the Empire. Perhaps you'll be able to return to a peaceful life. But remember that you can't turn away from what you see and what you feel. Because if you do, that's a sin. Now, those sort of things don't really bug me too much, but uh, I guess I get your point. You're strange. <laughs> Says the lady in a cape. I feel compassion when I'm with you. I suppose Victor brought you to us because he felt that special quality in you. There are many in the Liberation Army. Humphrey, Sanchez, Mosi, and Flick. But nobody has eyes like yours. Eyes that draw people to you. Many people. If I should ever. Who is it? Do we have a nefarious scoundrel? Oh, a sneaky man. My name is... I'm sh probably sure it's pronounced Kage, but I'm going to go with Cage. I have been sent by Sir Mosi, chief of this the secret factory. Mo er, Mose certainly keeps unusual company. How is he? I received a letter from him mentioning that a pigeon of his was sick. I find it hard to imagine Mose taking care of a sick pigeon. Very strange, lady. Sir Mose does not keep any pigeons. I'm sorry. I was just testing you. Well, actually, that's kind of clever. Smart move. I never betray a contract. This is the blueprint for the fire spear. Again, really more of a just kind of a drawing I made while eating breakfast. Please deliver this. The future of the liberation movement depends on it. Understood. I will go now. And then he went. It's getting late, Todd. We'd better rest. Okay. I guess I just gotta get back into bed. So do I have to go back in this bed or can I go in this bed? I can use either! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, societal norms. I have two beds. What do you mean our job is done? We finished our business last night, didn't we, Todd? Come to think of it, Young Master's bed was empty in the middle of the night. Were you watching? Young Master! What were you up to? Something you can't tell me? Are they implying lewdness? Because that did not go down. Come, let's get going, Todd. Young Master! Oh, get a hitch in your billy up. Let's go, Gremio. That kind of rhymes, depending if I'm saying his name right. Probably not. Okay. So, I guess we did what we set out to do. Did we really? That seems like a lot of friggin' work just to, I don't know. Don't we have, like, a mail system in this universe? Just seems like the type of thing to think about. Is there really nothing else around this place? Apparently not. I gotta go all the way through the friggin' mountain again? That's lame, but okay. Fine, if that's the way things must be done, then I shall do them that way. <sighs> Should probably slow down with my talking a bit. I mean, this game... No, I didn't want to... Okay. Apparently, I just threw money at a snail. Okay. And apparently, money has monetary value. Alright, so uh, I just meant to auto-attack, but I slipped my finger, it seems. Alright, well, I'll kill this guy in compensation. Anyway, like I was saying, this game, it's an RPG. These, these kind of games, they take a very, very long time. And I'd like to be able to record at very long, long stretches. Maybe like two or three hours at a time of each recording session. So I should probably not try to blow out my vocal cords all during the first hour, you know. It just seems like a pretty safe idea. Okay, so speaking of which, let's see here. Yeah, okay. Just checking the time. Nope, oh, and we've got more killer bunnies. Or slasher rabbits. Whatever. That bunny is dynamite. A rabbit's dynamite. I could be misquoting it. I don't know. I haven't seen Holy Grail in a while. I don't watch a lot of movies! Bunny's defeated. Yep, oh, and oh, seriously? 999! Seriously? That's like the anti devil number. I assume. It's like, I guess that, I don't know. 666, symbol of the beast. 999, symbol of the French toast. Because that's the opposite of the de. That's the opposite of the devil in my eyes. Better garlic bread. Either or. Okay, now we level up and we get some more power. More wonderful, wonderful power. One could call it unlimited, but it's not because we have very finite power. This has been proven time and time again for me while I was training dutifully. Okay. I wonder who put all these bridges here. More freaking bu- You'd think I would have wiped out their population by now. By bogarty. 
How do they gotta be this way? Bunnies! I mean no harm to you! They have very rumbunctious creatures. Alright, so that's that. Now let me leave this friggin' mountain. Seriously. I've had quite enough of all this... All these shenaniganery. So are, are these rocks gray or is there like snow up here? Because the town we went in didn't have any snow. Well, then again, it was gray too, but like the surrounding area was green. So are these just gray rocks or is it snow? Is it even cold here? I demand this kind of information. These are the, this is the sort of thing that keeps me up at night, people. I needs to know. All right, just gotta keep on going, keep on going. As far as I know, by the way, there is no run button. I've, I've, u I've used all of them. I guess you just kind of are forced to walk at a very, very brisk, leisurely place, which is kind of annoying. Kind of wish I could run, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a, a mystery button that I'm unfamiliar with or something. But I tried all the, the, the triggers and all the buttons, and I held all of them down. None seemed to work. So leisurely, leisurely walk we shall do. All right. Back to Lennon Camp, or however it's supposed to be pronounced. Why did, I wasn't even trying to walk down. I think my button got stuck or something. Work with me, PS3 controller. Work with me. Okay. I gotta work with all these freaking buttons. I can't even use the analog stick. I tried. For some reason, when I when I set it in the, the settings to analog mode, it doesn't stick for some reason. I guess it's just not compatible. It's dumb. I gotta use the D-pad. It's very unfortunate. All right, but... More evil has been thwarted. All is good. Gotta get to friggin' Lennon Camp. And, I don't know, I guess, just drop off everybody? Or are our characters finally going to join this friggin' Liberation Army? Because we've done two things for them now. It just seems like a, like a, like we're just kind of delaying the inevitable at this point. It's like, yeah, we're kind of gonna have to join them. It's just how it is. Alright, get all sails into this friggin' place. To Lennon Camp! Back to the place with all the people. Gonna go see hi to Sanchez, and he's the only guy whose name I remember. Oh, hey, are you dead? What happened? Are you all right? The Imperials, they suddenly... I'm sorry, Lady Odessa. Wait, they found the... Wow. My God. Oh, hey, Odessa. Let's go after them, young master. Oh, so now you're willing to help them. You make no sense, Gremio. Oi, all right. Hey, Odessa, did you really have to move the clock back into place when you went down there? Seems excessive. Oh, well, by Jove, there are, in fact, Imperials in here. All right, that's certainly a problem. Wait to drop the ball, Flick. You were only gone for, like, ten minutes. Although, I guess it was an entire day for some reason. But, come on, man. We leave for just a few, for just a short little while. And the whole place just falls apart. Some, yeesh, some soldier you are. Sheesh. Oh, whoa, that was a loud scream. What was that? Let's hurry! Let's talk about what we're gonna do before we do it, and then do it! Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah! More Imperials! Get out of the way! I heard a- I heard a very high-pitched lady scream! Out of the way, you nerds! Ah! They've got pointy things! Ah! Why you gotta be so pointy? Stop with all the pointiness! Yeah, ta-ta! And some of that! Okay, really? Victor! Work on your friggin' aim- you have- What is with your death perception, you- very clearly have very little of it. And, uh, Victor! If you don't start ship shaping up, I'm seriously gonna consider getting rid of you as soon as I can. Seriously. Ugh. Odessa! What happened? Are you alright, Odessa? Well, apparently. Come. You can come out now. The hell? Quickly! You must run! Okay! What was a kid doing down here? Ah! Lady Odessa, you're bleeding! Odessa! What have you done? Without you, the Liberation Army... Wait, what? I'm so sorry, Victor. It appears I've chosen to be a woman rather than commander of the Liberation Army. I couldn't let that child die. I'm a failure as a leader. Don't talk, Odessa. You'll reopen your wound. Is she like a... Is she dying? Todd, will you come here? Um, I have two requests. First, give this earring to a village, of, to a fellow called Matthew in the village of Sikia. Stop it, Odessa! I don't want to hear any final requests! Victor, thank you, but I know the end is near. Todd, take it. Dude, really? That's heavy. My, my other request, 
Please throw my body into the stream there. What? But why? I can't do such a horrible thing. Um, please, Todd. Uh, if that's what you want me to do. Todd, how can you? Thank you, Todd. You understand me, don't you? Victor, if the Liberation Forces find out I'm dead, the movement will lose faith and die. This is why you must keep my death a secret. Our tiny newborn hope must be kept alive. If you ever see Flick again, tell him that his kindness always saw me through hard times. Yeah, speaking of, where was he? He could have prevented this. Well, it appears the end is near. Todd, I have hope that you will be able to see the free world that I was never able to. Wow. Goodbye, Odessa. Wow. I, uh, honestly was not expecting something like that. At least not this early in the game. Holy cow. I suppose we should go to Sikya. Yes, and find this fellow, Matthew. But to get to Sikya, we have to pass through the Fortress of Kwaba. The Fortress of Kwaba? That's gonna be tough, but we'll give it a try. Wow, this game just got super somber. Okay, well, that's depressing in at least 12 different ways. Huh. Okay, so where exactly is this thing of Kwaba? Well, everything I've ever found is to the south. Maybe I just keep going that way. Oh, okay, but first we gotta fight some crows and boars. Very well. <sighs> you know, at, at first I was kind of bugged by the fact that I had five people in my team to start with. Because I didn't really have any way of getting to know any of them, and I didn't feel all that attached to any of them. But then, you know, Pan betrayed us, and Ted got captured, and now Odessa is dead. It's like, at first, I'd like it to just be able to have six full team members for, for a brief moment. That'd be awesome. But, uh, okay then. I mean, I, I guess I got what I wanted, though. I mean, with, with Pawn and Ted gone, I was able to get to know Gremio and Cleo, and now I got a pretty good handle on Victor, so. And I was getting to know Odessa. Then she decided to just straight up and die. And if I know my, you know, storytelling with this sort of thing, I'm guessing I probably take up her her mantle and become leader in her honor or something. Probably that. Okay, also, Victor, you've been poisoned and you are very, very close to dying. Unfortunate. Okay, hang on. Antitoxin in the hole. If you still find it kind of weird that sometimes people are permanently poisoned and other times they're not. That's very, very confusing to me. Okay. Ah, here's Quaba. All right, so I was able to get it right. The Fortress of Koba. It's a commander is Lord Ainguide. Ainguide, an old friend of Master Tio's. He doesn't know us, but he certainly knows your face. Can we get away with it? Let's test our luck. No problem. Don't worry. Meanwhile, let's decide on some fake names. We'll be in trouble if they ask us who we are. I'll be Roy. I'll be Maria. You don't look like a Maria. Ha! <laughs> what did you say? Hmm. I guess I'll be... The hell? Strodelheim Reinbach the Third. How's that sound? That sounds awesome. <laughs> Mad creativity, bro. That's awesome, young master. How about you? Let's see. Masamune Pilsuk Strodelheim Reinbach the Fourth. I gotta go with that one. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go, Roy Maria Strodelheim Reinbach the Fourth. I guess that makes us related. That's funny. I like it. Hey, you. You there. Strudelham right back to... Oh, they actually changed his name. Me, sir. I'm just a poor juju vendor with hungry kids waiting at home. Not you. The little runt. You look like that fugitive, Todd McDull. What's the matter? Sir, I thought this young fellow here looked like Todd McDell, the fugitive. Todd, you there! Show your face! Uh-oh, your Floridane sees me. Yeah, You! I've just about had it with you! Always causing trouble! And completely useless, too! Now they think you're a fugitive? You're a pain in the neck, even when you're doing nothing! Sir, if you find this boy suspicious, I'd be glad to lop off his head right here and now! Wait a minute! Don't worry, sir, I can't be thought of as harboring a fugitive! You! Prepare to die! Um, no, stop, stop! 
Hmm. Think about it, Rosh. McDowell's son wouldn't be dressed like a beggar. You all. You may pass. But sir, I think... Don't worry about it, Rosh. Let them go. Nice acting job. Hey, Sonny. Take good care of your father. Oh, it was unnecessary. Thank you, whoever you are. Ain't God, whatever your name was. Forgive me, young master. Even though we were in danger, I went too far. I'm ready for any kind of punishment. You can even cut off my head. Hey, hey, Gremio, it's no big deal. Safe passage is all that matters. Todd has a big heart. Unforgivable! <laughs> nah, it's cool, Gremio. It's all good. I knew you wouldn't hurt me. Young master. Alright, so I suppose I could just keep going, or I could do the sensible thing and wonder who the hell this guy is. Hi, how's it going? Uh, Chandler? Oh, he's got a monocle! Howdy, I'm Chandler. Just an idle peddler. I travel here and there in search of a profit. I hope someday I'll have my own store. Okay. All right, so you must be... Okay, okay. Th uh, that's one of the things I know. It's like the, the, the whole, um, special... I mean, if this, if this guy was just some randard, randard, random run-of-the-mill dude, he probably wouldn't have his own little special portrait image. He's probably a guy I can recruit. Because he's, he's looking to, like, make a shop. Maybe he can be, like, our shop. He could be, like, our, our, our goods guy. He could go out in the field and find stuff or something. Although I guess I'm not technically of any position to recruit anybody, so maybe... Okay, well, I'm gonna keep a mental note of you, dude. I'm gonna just... You just stay there and, until I possibly can come and get you. Assuming my theory is correct. Alright, so what's the name of the place we were trying to get to again? Sekya? Yeah, Sekya! Haja! Alright, well, let's take a little looky-loo around town. Children grow up even without their parents, I suppose. Says Master Matthew. Master Matthew all day. And never listens to me. Master Matthew! Okay, so the dude's definitely here. Alright. Hang on. This is a combination in a bed thingy. I don't know. Hey, wait a second. Aren't you that lady? Or do you just share a, or do you just share a sprite with somebody? No, it's totally Marie! My, my! If it isn't Todd, are you alright? Me? They found out I was hiding you. But I'm fine now. No, I don't blame you. Fate, that's all. I made you lose your job? Oh, what the hell? How was it supposed to happen? Crud. Hey, who are you? Are you a friend of that spoiled brat, Sheena? He's been so obnoxious lately. I don't know who that is, but he sounds like he'll probably play an important role in something. They say the Imperial forces attacked the Liberation Army's hideout, but Lady Odessa apparently is apparently safe. As long as she's alive, everything's okay. Well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Well, of course, I can't tell you that. Also, you look like the Swedish chef. What's your story? My life's devoted to cooking, but I don't have own, my own restaurant yet. I wish there was a place where I'd be really of use. Okay, so you also have your own little title, cover, profile, art thingy. Okay. I guess, I maybe, I don't know, maybe not everybody is a fighter or something? I'm not entirely sure, but, I mean, unless that cook can, like, throw straight up throw cutlery at people, that'd be pretty friggin' awesome. Anyway, yeah, I'd like to stay at the end. Whoa, that's a lot of BITs. Yeah, sure, fine. Also, we only have two beds and there are four. Oh, wait, nope, there are four beds. Okay, but there are other people here. Still, I question the, I question the bed arrangement. All right, here's the rune shop. Do I have anything that I can attach to anything? I gotta check. I thought I was so lucky to get a crystal, and it turns out it's damaged. I thought I'd be able to use magic, too. Hmm, makes sense. This is the rune master's shop. All right. Welcome! Attach! Do we have anything? None. Water crystal! Hello! Okay, so wait, the water crystal... Oh, right, you can't just... Ah, that's why I couldn't select it. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Alright, so I guess Grammy will be rolling with the water crystal. Why not? Victor, of course, doesn't have anything... Wait, no! I didn't want to attach it to... Ah, no! Okay, well, Victor gets the water... <laughs> Sorry, Grammy. I thought he already attached it. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, okay. No, I don't really want to talk to you anymore. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I guess Victor can start using some magical abilities now. That's pretty swell, swell, swell. Okay, item shop. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Hello? Are you Matthew? Say, did you know that Odessa, leader of the Liberation Army, is missing? I did not. Okay, at first I... I don't... The guy told me to pay attention to characters with their own profile art, but I'm seeing, like, a lot of them now. This looks kind of like... I don't even know what this lady's deal is. She looks like she kind of had a stroke. Unfortunate. Okay, well, I guess... Uh, okay, so... Uh, chef, peddler dude, whoever that lady is. 
I'm, okay, at first I thought it was kind of neat, but these don't really look like the type of people you want to have join your army. Uh, okay, well, I guess. My hobby's fishing, and I often go to Kaku to finish. It's just a way southwest of here. Okay, I suppose I'll probably end up having to go there at some point. Alright, there appears to be a house up on the hill. Excuse me, sir, what's the word, word, word? You look kind of fancy. Hey, do you know where Matthew lives? Just up those steps. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you, I guess. Do, 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 do. And the house is inexplicably larger for some reason. Okay, we've got children all up in the wazoos. Alright, what's up, children? I don't suppose any of you are Matthew, eh? <clears throat> I really like Master Matthew, but he gives out so much homework. Guess what? But don't tell anyone. I've decided to marry Master Matthew. Alright, good luck with that, lady. Master Matthew, he's out for a walk. Okay, fantastic. Alright, so, well... Okay, I know where he lives, but I don't know where he is. Yo, dude, you have any idea where he might be? You! Trying to fool us? You're Matthew! He is? Oh. Well, alright then. Well, yes, I'm Matthew. What can I do for you? We're here to honor Odessa's last request. She asked us to deliver this earring to you. Last request? I see. So she's dead. She was a fine young woman, but she got mixed up in that. That what? I don't like your tone of voice. What's wrong with what Odessa was doing? She was a fool. I knew it would come to this. I can't accept this earring. Please leave. Wow! What a jerk! Um... I, I don't know, I guess I gotta go talk to him. I mean, that's, there's, there's, it's clearly there's some more to be going on here. here. Ugh. He's got me so frazzled I don't even know how to talk anymore. I'll have nothing to do with Odessa. Please leave. Seriously? Yo, kids, you know what's up with the weirdo guy? I really da, 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 don't care. Okay, so you're just talking about the same stuff. Okay, so I guess I can't talk to him. What a butt! Alright, so what the hell though am I supposed to do? Oh, who is this guy? He makes me sick. Me too, but why did Odessa ask us to see him? Oh, hi. Hey, get out of the way. Alright, those were Imperials. Those Imperial soldiers went to Matthew's house. I wonder what's going on. Well, I guess we're going back up and finding out. Well, they are taking children. What are you doing? What do you plan to do with that child? Matthew Silverberg, you are hereby ordered to return to duty in the Imperial Army. There's no reason why a fine doctor like you should be wasting your talent in this pathetic village. Why, you're a hero of the Battle of Kalakaka. I refuse. I've had it with war. Nowadays, I'm nothing but a poor recluse. We have been ordered by Lord Kasim Hazil to bring you with, with us by force if necessary. I have no intention of returning to Imperial service. Really? If you choose to be stubborn, there's no telling what will happen to this child. Say, maybe we'll send him to the Banar Mines. Pretty hard labor there. Who knows if the kid will survive. No, no! Help me, Doc! Help me! Let, let him go! Right now! Okay, well, looks like it's time for Team Awesome Delta Force to save the day! Let's fight him! We gotta help them, durr! Let's go! Great, let's do it! Oh my, trouble again. It's not easy serving you, young master. Come on, Cleo, I know you're about to enjoy yourself. Young master, let's go! Huzinga! Wait a minute. We're taking over this fight. Who are you? We would be survivors of the rebel army. Just some good guys passing by. Whoever they are, capture them! Oh, you guys want to throw down? You want to throw down with the hay now? Alright, there were clearly four of them, but I'm only fighting three. Fine by me! Three shall die this day! Ha ha! Take that! Air sword to the face! And there we go. Victor finally manages to land an attack. About dang time. There we go. I suppose that's the end of that. Huzzah! Oh my god. All this killing. And in front of children. Well, life's tough all over, dude. Oh, what? Did you just run back into the house and not even talk to us? The frig. What are you, what are you doing? I know who you are, Todd. Son of General Teo McDull. How do I know? I still keep in touch with a few friends in the Imperial Army. Those Imperial soldiers, they called you Matthew Silverberg. That's right, Odessa. Odessa Silverberg was my sister. Oh! I didn't even catch that! Then why did you say such terrible things about her? I decided that I would never again be involved in war, in killing. But not Odessa. She chose to fight for her beliefs. 
How did Odessa describe me? Uh, that you existed? Just as a man in Sikya named Matthew. I see. I guess she never forgave me. Odessa told me that a powerful man who doesn't use his power is a coward. Yes, I am a coward. I'd rather be called a coward than have to bear seeing that awful sight again. Even if it meant being rejected by my own sister. Awful sight? Watching people die from my own actions, friend and enemy alike. But today, I've realized something. Even if I close my eyes, the world will not disappear. From now on, I will strive for what Odessa was striving for. Oh, so you'll actually take the thing now? You'll accept this earring then? Earring? You should keep this. Oh, dude, what the hell? What? Why? Look at the closely. There's a map inscribed in it that shows the location of the Liberation Army's hideout. Whoever holds this earring is destined to lead the Freedom Fighters. Oh. I am a, I am a talented military surgeon, but hardly the type to lead a Liberation Army. But you, Todd, however, are a born leader. I'm sure Odessa realized that. That's why she wanted me to meet you. Please accept this earring and live out your destiny as leader of the Freedom Fighters! Well, who called that 16 miles away? Alright. Yeah, sure, fine. Let's let's lead a, let's lead a Liberation Army. Thank you, Todd. From this moment on, you are the leader of the Liberation Army. Henceforth, I shall call you Master Todd. Gremio, Cleo, what will you do? You won't be able to return to the Empire. Wherever you go, I go, young Master. Master Tio will forgive me, I'm sure. Me too. I've just about had it with this corrupt Empire. Yeah, a few, many people probably would at this point. Master Todd. As your military surgeon, may I offer my first piece of advice? To revive the Liberation Army, we must recruit volunteers. People who are, who are dissatisfied with the Empire. Like all those people I talked to? And to do so, we need a headquarters. Okay, so I need a headquarters first. Alright, that makes sense. You're right. Too bad the hideout at a Lenin camp burned down. It didn't burn down, it was a sewer! The hell are you talking about? I'm thinking of something much bigger. A place that, with, that can withstand an attack by the Imperial Army. There's an abandoned castle in the middle of Lake Torren that I believe would be perfect for our purposes, and perhaps even our porpoises. Why don't we make for Kaku, a town on the shores of the lake? Grimio. Oh, sorry. It gets confused. Sometimes, sometimes it is their names there, sometimes it's not. Aren't you coming with us, Matthew? I must prepare for the move, and I'll have to give the children a year's worth of homework. Alright, so I guess I gotta go to that uh, fishing place that that one dude told me about, and they're all find a way to get over to an abandoned palace of some sort. That sounds pretty fancy. I guess we're gonna go ahead and do that thing. I'll see you guys then. Hope you had a great time.